you've been talking about alternatives like senior bank loans, for example, uh, convertibles, preferreds, even pr potentially high yield. Uh, these are bond-like instruments. So what are the advantages uh, of, of these particular instruments right now over just, say, owning bonds or a bond fund? Well, look, I mean, investment-grade bonds right now, I think Kevin probably agree with me, is it's debt money. Um, and so to the extent that you can get out of that, any way you can get out of that is probably a pretty good idea. Uh, and we generally, like, we generally agree with Kevin. We think equities is, is, is the place to be. Um, however, if we are stuck, like if we do need to get some sort of bond allocation into a model because there's constraints or this, there's, um, you know, there's security selection types of things we have to take care of, um, then, the, you know, the, Bob, the, the things you were mentioning work pretty well. Uh, you know, preferred converts, bank loans, uh, high yield, you know, all of these types of securities uh, can help they can give, at least give you a chance. The catch, though, is you've got to risk manage it in somehow. Uh, because all of those securities were down, uh, you know, all of those asset classes were down 20 to 30 percent in March of 2020. So not exactly the kind of return profile that you'd want out of a bond portfolio, but at least they give you a chance if you're stuck having to do something inside of bonds. We do agree equities is probably the better place to be. Yeah, but they turned around fairly quickly. And uh, Kevin, I wonder what you thinking about these alternative instruments. We always bring out senior bank loan ETFs, for uh, example, short term, you know, they they the the rates rise uh, 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 fairly quickly because they're fairly short term instruments. It, it, is that an alternative here to simply owning a, a bond portfolio? It is an alternative if you're forced into fixed income. I mean, I, I'm in a mandate where I have to have a minimum of 30 percent fixed income, and that's what I've done. I've taken it down to 30 percent, 70 percent equities. But I'm looking for shorter duration, triple B and above. In my case, it's pretty miserable returns. Uh, however, you know, it's, it is risk management. It's sort of how long and at what quality. And there's a lot of volatility now in fixed income. We just haven't had a market like this in a long, long time. My guess is that that portfolio will probably underperform equities. I'm looking for 8% you know, earnings growth in, in 2022 plus 1% dividend yield for a 9% total return on my equities, even in times when the Fed is raising rates, because most of the companies I own in OUSA have pricing power. I do not think I will make 9% in my fixed income portfolio. I'll be happy to make three and a half. I'd be happy not to lose money. This is an extraordinary time. Fixed income, which worked for 32 years, is not working anymore.